Hello, my name is Lena Sofia Thiemeyer and I'm going to introduce my course History and Religion of Ancient Israel. As you can hear from the title, what we are going to do in this course is to look at what really happened historically in ancient Israel and what did the ancient Israelites actually believe in. Our main source of information is, as you can guess, going to be the Hebrew Bible. But the Hebrew Bible is not really a history book. So we are going to examine the Hebrew Bible and ask questions that maybe we were not really supposed to ask of the Bible. What actually happened at this time? What did the people believe in? It may come as a surprise to you that when I say that the Bible does not portray a people that believed in God. On the contrary. The prophetic authors, for example, are constantly accusing the people of ancient Israel of believing in all kinds of things. We are going to examine the claims of the Hebrew Bible and we are going to compare it with other types of material, other types of evidence that we have from the ancient world. We are going to look, for example, at archaeology. What can archaeological artifacts tell us about what happened in ancient Israel and what did the people of ancient Israel believe in? We are primarily going to look at texts and in English translation, I promise you. And we are also going to look at archaeological artifacts such as inscriptions and altars and figurines and the like. So why should you take this course? Well, I think it's a very fun course. I think history is fun, it's interesting, and it also situates the Bible in its wider context. So often do we approach the Bible as, as an isolated phenomenon. In this course we are going to look at what does the Bible say and how does that fit in with what we know from the rest of the ancient world. How does what happened to Israel fit with what happened, say, in the Neo-Babylonian Empire or in ancient Egypt? And we'll find that Israel was not an isolated part of the world, rather it was an integrate part of the ancient world. Who are the students in this course? Well, many students are going to come from divinity and religious studies. They are going to be interested, not necessarily so, in the religion of ancient Israel. What did they actually believe in? But I'm also going to have students coming from history. And in particular for history students, this course really fills a gap because although we have many courses in history at the University of Aberdeen, this is the only course that looks at the second and the first millennia BCE in the Levant, that is ancient Israel, ancient, ancient Aram, etc. But also what happened in ancient Egypt, what happened in the Neo-Babylonian Empire, in the Neo-Syrian Empire. So I would very much recommend this course. Of course, I'm the course coordinator. It would be odd if I didn't. But I think it's a great course and I think you should take it.